Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem related to the soil mechanics. So in this problem, we solve out the different unknown parameters for a soil sample. So the problem states that a sample of saturated clay, keep in mind that it is a saturated clay. I will explain this later. So a sample of saturated clay was placed in a container in weighted the weight was 6 newton so this is the one known parameter 6 newton is the weight of the saturated clay the clay was then placed in an oven dry for 24 hours and the weight reduced to 5 newton so this is now the dry weight of the saturated clay the weight of the container is 1 newton if g is g is means specific gravity is 2.7 then determine the water content the wide ratio, the moisture unit weight, the dry unit weight, and the effective unit weight for the soil sample. So in this problem, we can start with the given data, which is the weight of the weight weight of the soil and the container weight of the container, which is six newton. because it is a saturated clay and its weight was 6 newton so it means the weight of the soil in the container is 6 newton because this weight is with container and then the weight of the soil in dry condition plus the weight of the container when it is dried the weight was found to be 5 newton so this is with the container and weight of the container was 1 newton so here is the weight of the container was 1 newton and also the specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.7 so now first of all we find out the water content this one the first one unknown is the water content so i'm going to start with the water content how to find this so for this we have to first to find out the wet weight of the soil and dry weight of the soil without any container. So the wet weight of the soil without any container will be equal to the this whole value which is the weight of the weight plus container. We will subtract the weight of container from this so it will be only the weight the wet weight of the soil which will be 6 newton minus 1 newton. Why? Because 6 newton is the weight of the container in the soil. So I subtracted only the weight of the container from it. So now we will get only the weight of the soil, of the wet soil, which is 5 newton. In the similar way, we will find out the dry weight of the soil. So in this way, we know that the dry weight in the container weight is 5 newton. So we will subtract the container weight, which is 1 newton. We will get here 4 newton, which is the weight of the dry soil. After this, we can find easily the percentage of the water content here in the soil sample. It is the wet weight. Let me remove this. So it is basically the wet weight minus dry weight, dividing it by the dry weight, multiplying with the hundred percent because water content is always in hundred percentage. So wet weight is five newton minus dry weight which is 4 newton dividing by the dry weight which is 4 newton multiplying it with the 100 percent so we get here the water content which is comes out to be 25 percent the second unknown is the wide ratio so to find out the wide ratio we have a simple formula of degree of saturation the soil multiplying with the wide ratio is equal to the specific gravity into the water content. Now in this case the specific gravity is known to us which is 2.7. The water content is known to us which is 25% or we call it 0.25 in decimal. Wide ratio we can find out but this is also unknown to us. It is degree of saturation and we see here that it is a saturated clay. And for saturated clay, keep in mind that for saturated clay, 
this is always equal to 1. So now we can simply just putting the value here in this formula, so we will get the E the y ratio, it will be G S into W divided by S, G S is 2.7, multiply with the water content, which is 0 0.25 here, dividing by 1, which is the saturated clay, so we get the y ratio of 0 0.675, this is the y ratio for this soil sample. The third one is the moisture unit weight of the soil sample. The moisture unit weight can be find out. The moisture unit weight will be equal to the Gs into gamma W, which is the unit weight of water, multiplying into 1 plus water content, dividing it by 1 plus y ratio. Now keep in mind that water content here is the one which is the saturated clay and it was 25 percent or 0 0.25 so we will just put the value here and we will get our the moisture unit weight now g is known to us which is 2.7 multiply with the w, gamma w keep in mind that the gamma w is 9.8 kilonewton per cubic meter this is the unit weight of the soil sample 9.8 multiplying it with the 1 plus water content divided by 1 plus E. E is 0 0.675. You will get the moisture unit weight of the soil sample 19.76 kilonewton per cubic meter. The D unknown is the dry unit weight. Find out the dry unit weight. The dry unit weight can be find the dry unit weight can be find out very easily. It is equal to the moisture unit weight divided dividing by 1 plus water content. Moisture unit weight we found out 19.76 dividing by 1 plus water content which is 0 0.25. So we got a dry unit weight of 15.8 kN per cubic meter. The last one is the effective unit weight of the soil sample. Keep in mind that effective unit weight of the soil sample is always equal to the the saturated unit weight of the soil sample minus the unit weight of the water. So saturated unit weight was 19.76 minus unit weight of the water which is 9.81. So if we subtract this value we got of 9.95 kN per cubic meter. So this is the effective unit weight of the soil sample. So hope you guys understand by solving a medical problem related to the soil mechanics that how to find out the different unknown parameters if you know the sum of the given parameters. I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our videos.